Focus, you fuck. Focus, you idiot. This is a grape. But we're not going to need that for what we're doing today. Today, I'm going to show you, ladies and gentlemen, step by step, how to make some very delicious apple cider and cinnamon whiskey. I'm going to walk you step by step everything that you will need to do in order to make yours homemade and fresh because anybody can buy it from the store. Oh my god, this freaking carpet is slipping and I'm falling! Oh! So the first step is to slip on your carpet that is in your kitchen because everybody knows that is the best way to make some good cider. Hold on, I gotta replace it. Step two, replace it. Step number three is to prepare all of your utensils. I will go one by one and explain what each one of these are. This is a normal chef's knife. This is an Asian chef's knife. This is a black guy's chef's knife. If you know what I'm saying. Uh, what? The first step after the two steps of falling on your floor is to figure out what utensils you will need. I have a wide array of selections here, and I'm going to go through each one and figure out which one I should use. This one is nice. The Universal Chef. That's too mainstream, we're not using that. This is the short and stout. I got a lot of similarities with this one, and for that exact reason, I'm not gonna use it. Get out of here. This is the big boy. No description there, don't need it. This is the thin but long. Literally the exact opposite of my problems. Not using it. This is the overcompensator. This one likes to buy Corvettes and put on mufflers that make it way louder than it needs to be. Not my style, douche cake! This is the Call of Duty Master. Those who want to use it and also knife some f***ing people with damage that outdamages guns. Because logic. F*** that game mechanic, not use it. This is a fork. And this is the filet I think I'm gonna use this one. It's got nice, nice angles, looks sharp, looks awesome, looks cool as fuck, and I eliminated all the other options, so I guess I'm stuck with it. Step number 12 is to find your apples. Where the fuck are my apples? Where the fuck did I put the fucking apples? Apples! Apples, are you in here? Hello? I need some light in there. Apples? Nope. Apples? No, but there's a f***ing bowl. Ugh, oh, so dirty. Oh my god. Somebody needs to clean this shit. Whose house is this? What an asshole. Apples? Are you in there? Oh, god damn it. You made a mess, guys. Jesus. What the f***? The apples aren't in here. Now I gotta clean this shit up. Oh, god damn it. Hey, I found that grape. Oh god, what have I done? I'll bury you, Grapey. Why do I keep doing this? Why do I keep doing this? Oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> Apples? What the f are these things? Oh, there they are. Jeez. I'm looking all over for you, Apples. Jeez. Oh, gosh. Look what you... You got wet! You got all wet. The acoustics are terrible in here. What type of asshole records in this type of room? Once you have your apples and the only knife that you have left because you deduced them all, it's time to start on to step seven. Now the recipe that I have requires at least 72 apples. I have six. So we're gonna have to fix that. So step number C is to get more than six apples. 72 to be precise. So, I'm gonna have to grow some more apples. Now, to grow more apples, you need apple seeds. And what's great about apples, as I try to open this with one f***ing hand... Ugh, it's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. I can do it. Hold on. Ugh, is that apples have seeds in them. Barcode. So, what you need to do is you need to get the seeds out. What the f***? Why am I wearing pants? Ah, much better. So once you got your apples out, we need to get the seeds out. So, there's many different ways that you can do this. Way number one, with this knife. Way number two, with your bare f***ing hands. Oh, yes. Get out of here, seeds. 
<clears throat> just give it a little press. Just press them. And then you got seeds. See, look at this right here. Right there. That's, that's a seed. You can, uh, you can get many of those if you're, if you're nice and good and you're, you're a good boy. You do a good job. Oh, look at him. Come on, 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 out. Come on, out. Fing, fing seeds. We got the seeds, we got the seeds, we got the seeds. Or option number three, which is my personal favorite, is kind of like with your hands, but way more awesome. And once you've destroyed your apples, all the seeds are ripe for the taking. I can just, I can just reach in there. Just break that open. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. Those beautiful seeds that we need so bad. Yes. Once you have all your seeds, you're ready to start planting. Let's do it. What the f*** is that? Once you found the perfect spot, take your seeds, put them in your pocket. At least that's what I do. Coat pocket. Yep, yep, yep. Make sure none stick to your hands. Good. You get a little shovel. Now, again, as you might have seen from all the blades, I'm not one for overcompensating. So I got myself a pretty little shovel. Measure it against my leg to... How the f*** did I get pants on again? You take your shovel and you just put it in. Just... <sighs> dig deep. Dig deep in your back. And dig a hole. Oh, yes. It's perfect. Perfect little hole. Perfect little hole. Focus, camera, focus. I'm gonna put this down, because it's really hard to do with one hand. Be right back. Once you've dug your hole, you then take your seeds. You're just gonna rest them down in there. Go, little seedies, go. Go, little seedies, go. Oh, yeah, perfect. Then you fill it up. What the f*** was that? Once you've finished burying your apple seeds and put them in the hole, we need to wait for them to grow. Now, I don't know how long it takes to grow an apple tree. But if Farmville has taught me anything, I'm going to assume it's five minutes. So let's go kitchen timer. Five, zero, zero, start. And we'll come back in five minutes. Now in the meantime, I'm going to do my favorite pastime. Check out our plant. <laughs> what? It didn't grow yet. F what the hell? Oh, I know. I didn't water it. That's clearly what the problem is. It needs some water. All right. Let's water it then. Drink up, apple seeds. Drink up. Oh man, you are thirsty! Oh, oh, look at, oh jeez, you just can't get them. Oh my god, oh, you want more? Want some more? Oh my god, oh, that's all I got. I hope that's enough for you. Hey, don't talk back to me. Now it should only need five minutes. That wasn't quite five minutes, but it'll work. Yes, it's done. Shut up. What the fuck? It's 
still not growing. You need more water or something? Shit. Maybe just need some more water. Oh, what the f Apple tree, no! Say why? Are you okay? It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay. You'll be okay. You'll be okay. You'll be okay. I promise. I promise to be okay. Oh my god. Oh god, no. Why? How did that even start? I don't even understand. How is it even possible? Oh my god. Now this part is going to be 11-teen-B, because I'm assuming that everybody else didn't have their trees spontaneously bust into flames. So assuming that you have your apples, skip this step. Now if you are like me, and your tree did spontaneously explode into flames, then you're going to want to follow this step. Now you could go to the store and buy a bunch of apples, but I've completely blown out my budget for this video, so I'm going to go with the next best thing. Pie filling. Apple. Apple pie. Comstock. Zachary Comstock. No! Now, if you're going to go this route, you need to make sure that it's apple pie filling. Because remember, we're trying to make apple cider. What the f is that? So, first thing you need, apple pie filling. Second thing, God, the shadow. Second thing you're going to need is a can opener. Now, I'm not one of you Neanderthals, so I'm not doing this by hand. I have a f***ing can opener that does this sh** for me. All right, let's make this work. Let's make this work. Oh. Yeah, that's the future, baby. Apple pie future. Once your can's open, you just rip it off and like asshole. There you go. Oh, shit. Look at that. Look at that. It looks delicious. Get it out. Get it out without cutting yourself. Ah, shit. Now, once you have your pie filling and you've cut yourself, you need to turn this into apple cider. So you'll need your big ass mug. You'll need your cinnamon, non-name brand, holy god light, you wanna work with me? See, I scratched it out, so you definitely can't tell that that says McCormick. <laughs> now I'm assuming that you need to press this into apple cider. So I'm gonna use the only thing that I have, and that's a mortar and pestle. So we're gonna wanna just take a scoop of this, and just scoop it out, yep, yep. Hey, hold on, Ken, hold on, Ken, calm down, calm down. Uh, it won't come out, it won't let go, all right, yes, perfect. And then just glop that right in there like that. Yeah. Yeah. Might be a little too much. Let's pull a little bit of that out. Let's pull a little bit of that out and then just uh, give it a little give it a little taste. Just uh let me put that in my mouth. Mm. Was I supposed to cook this? So then you want to take your little thing, you just wanna just kind of jam it in there. Just jam it in there, just get it get it all over the counters. That's alright. That's part of the steps. Helps bring out the, the juices. Just my phone has the vision of Stevie Wonder, so you can't see this, but my pipe filling has cinnamon in it. If yours does not have cinnamon in it, then you're going to need to put some cinnamon in that. So, take your definitely not McCormick brand cinnamon and pop the lid. Pop it. This would be way easier with my index finger. And just put, put a little bit in there. Just, just, a, just a little bit. You don't want to go too much with the cinnamon because then you'll end up like a f***ing cinnamon challenge video on uh, YouTube. But just a little bit... A little bit of cinnamon, and then you're good. And then continue just mortaring away. Just get it, just mortar away. Make it nice and pressed. Press all the juices out of there. Oh, press it up, press it. Just fucking, just, just, oh, oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, oh. Once you've pressed your pie filling enough, it should look something like this. Next step, pour it into your mug. That's not nearly enough. We need more. More pie filling, more! Rinse and repeat step 11 dB until you have enough apple cider to do the job. Perfect! Now we have two more steps, ladies and gentlemen. Two more steps. And that is to get the cinnamon whiskey in and the cinnamon stick in. So, on to part 46C. Now, you can really use any sort of alcohol that you want under the one stipulation. Wasn't this the finger that I cut? 
under one stipulation. It has to be cinnamon. I mean, you could go like with the 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 the, the Cool Whip or or whipped cream or the whatever. No, not for this recipe. You can substitute your own, but then you better not fucking call grinding pixels, mother sucking beautiful delicious apple pie, apple custard pie filling cinnamon toast crunch can da min whiskey. So, I like to use ice cube. Cinnamon whiskey. It's uh, a million proof. I know that seems like a little much, but trust me. After all these steps, you want to be knocked on your ass. 16% alcohol content. Definitely not any other brand at all. Ever. Cinnamon spelled right? First, you'll want to get a nice shot glass. And then take your ice cube brand. Hold on, I need two hands for this. Cinnamon whiskey. And you're just going to want to fill that son of a bitch up. Remember, we've had a hard day. Our f***ing apple tree committed suicide. That's extreme. You want to take that? And you're just going to go like... Jaeger bomb style. Now, usually that would be completely submerged, but we didn't have enough. So, back to the pie filling. Take the rest, put it in there. Make sure that bitch gets submerged. Oh, that's too much. That's too much. I f***ed up. Oh, shit! Now, the ratio isn't important. I like to go one-to-one -one ice cube whiskey to uh, apple pie filling apple cider. But, really, it's up to preference. It's preference for you. Preference for you. Keep the thing in there. I think you can see it. Yeah. Oh, look at it. It's under there. It's under there. Keep that in there. Adds flavor. It's a chemical compound issue. Don't fucking question it. Why are my pants still on? Now, last but not least, you need to kind of lower this a little bit because that's too high. This does not look professional at all. I mean, nobody would, nobody put this on Food Network, and that's where I aim to go. So hold on one second. <sighs> Way better. The last thing we need is some garnish. You know what I'm saying? The fancy ass, like, green shit they put on a fucking plate to make it look all fancy and shit. We need that for this. So let's go get some bark. Now, typically, you would want some sort of cinnamon bark, but uh, I don't have any of that. Now, I could have used cinnamon, but we need a f***ing garnish, so just go to your New Year's tree. Ignore that. Ignore that. Don't even f***ing look. What the f*** did I tell you? I don't know f***ing look at it. So just go to your nearest tree and just kind of claw at it like a f***ing beast. Oh, yes. Okay. Get, get pieces of bark. Get pieces of bark. Grab it. Grab as much as you can. Rip it off. F***ing tear it. F***ing tear it off. Take it off the tree. Kick it with your shoe. Kick it with your scrape it off with your feet. I can't reach that eye. Oh shit. Once you have your bark, it's safe to quickly fast run back into the house. Because I don't know what I just heard, but it sounded like a demon monster. Oh my god. Once you've gotten the bark that you got from your tree, you can go ahead and put it down on the counter there and uh, pull out a piece of the bark that you just got from the tree. And definitely not from the local market. That's not where I got this. They weren't in other packaging, and then I put it into there. This is exactly what my tree gave me. Shut up! You got the bark? Put that down. You don't need that yet. We gotta go over to the microwave. Who put the goddamn dishwasher? Get back to the microwave. Still dirty. Important. Better not f*** up that step. And you put it in there, without the bark. And then close it. Now, this is all personal preference. I like to go with 69 hours. Okay, this only does 90 minutes. So we're gonna go with 90 minutes, and we'll come back when those 90 minutes are up. Huh, how did this get upside down? Better. All right, it's been 90 minutes later. You can go ahead and pull this out now. Be careful, it's gonna be a little warm after 90 minutes. That tends to... Okay, ow, ow, ow! Jesus Christ! Ooh. Oh my God. After crying like a bitch over the third degree burns you got, you take that bark, put it in there. Ladies and gentlemen, if you follow all these steps directly and exactly as I showed you, can you see the steam? I don't know if it's picking up. I'll add I'll add digital steam there if it's, if it's not picking up. If you follow all these directions perfectly, you will have the best goddamn alcoholic apple cider that you've ever, ever enjoyed. Jesus Christ, it's so f***ing hot. And after all the work that you put into it, you're going to want a little bit of alcohol in your system because, good Lord, is it stressful. 
I'm going to go ahead and enjoy this now, guys. Let me know if you were successful in causing your tree to spontaneously combust. Oh my god, it's still really hot. I'm going to leave this here for the rest of the video. Let me know down below if you guys had success, how delicious yours was. And I'm going to go heal my hand and drink this until I pass out like a f***ing sleb. Goodbye, guys. Who is putting on these pants?